Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's narrative poem, The Wreck of the Hesperus, takes place on a ship in the ocean. A skipper decides to go on a voyage with his daughter, even though an old sailor warned him not to because a storm was coming. While they're at sea, the storm hits the ship, killing everyone on board except for the daughter, who is tied to a mast to keep her safe. Eventually, the ship sinks <coughs> because of the storm and the daughter drowns. At daybreak, a fisherman finds the daughter dead on the mast. The, the Wreck of the Hesperus. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. It was the schooner Hesperus that sailed the wintry sea. And the skipper had taken his little daughter to bear him company. Little were her eyes as the fairy flax, her cheek like the dawn of day, and her bosom white as the hawthorn bud that opened the month of May. The skipper he stood beside the helm, his pipe was in his mouth, and he watched for <coughs> the veering slotted blow. The smoke now west, now south, then up and spake an old sailor. Had sailed to the Spanish main, I pray thee, put, put into yonder port, for I fear a hurricane. Last night the moon had a golden ring, and, and tonight no moon we see. The, the skipper, skipper, he blew a whiff from his pipe, and a scornful laugh laughed he. Colder and louder blew the wind, a gale from the northeast. The snow fell hissing in the brine, and the billows frothed like yeast. Down came the storm, and smoked amain. The vessel in its strength, she, she shuddered and paused like a frighted steed, then leapt her cable's length. Come hither, come hither, my little daughter, and, and do not, not tremble so, for I can weather the roughest gale that ever wind did blow. He wrapped her warm in the seaman's coat. Against the singing blast, he cut a rope from a broken spar and bound her to the mast. Oh, Father, I hear the church bells ring. Oh, say, what, what may it be? To the fog bell on a rock-bound coast, and he steered for the open sea. Oh, Father, I hear the sound of guns. Oh, say, what may it be? Some ship in distress that cannot live in such an angry sea. Oh, Father, I see a gleaming light. Oh, say, what may it be? But the father, father never answered a word. word. A frozen corpse was he. Lashed to the helm, all stiff and stark, with his face turned to the sky. The lantern gleamed through the gleaming snow on his fixed and glassy eyes. Then the maiden clasped her hands and prayed that saved she might be. And she, she thought of Christ, who stilled the way on the lake of Galilee. And fast through the midnight dark and drear, through the whistling sleet and snow, like a sheeted ghost, the vessel swept towards the reef of Norman's woe. And, and ever the fitful gust between, a sound came from the land. It was the sound of the trampling surf. On the rocks and hard sea sand, the breakers were right beneath her bows. She drifted a dreary wreck, and a whooping billow swept the crew like icicles from her deck. She struck where the white and fleecy waves slipped soft as carded wool. But the cruel rocks, they gored her side like the horns of an angry bull. Her rattling shrouds she sheeted in ice. ice. With the mast went by the board, like, like a vessel of glass, she stove and sank. Ho, ho, the breakers roared. At daybreak on the bleak sea beach, beach, a fisherman stood aghast to see the form of a maiden fair lashed close to a drifting mast. The salt sea was frozen on her breast. The, the salt, salt tears in her eyes. eyes, and he saw her hair, like the brown seaweed, on the billows full and rise. Such was the wreck of the Hesperus in the midnight and the snow. Christ save us all from a death like this on, on the reef of Norman's, Norman's woe. woe.